Hello, 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 ladies. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sherry D Shares, the base of wellness. Today, I come to you to share with you my current struggle, my current uh, area that I need improvement on. Therefore, when I need improvement on something, I come to you all for encouragement and inspiration. Who do we have? Hello, Crystal and Patty. Thank you for joining me today. I want to talk about the base of wellness and what it means to me and see how you all feel if you would like to join me in my first base accountability this week. This week, I'm going to be coming in daily it may not be live, but I'll be sharing posts to help explain and encourage growth in this area. And this area is wellness. And today I would like to talk about our posture. Our posture is very, very important when it comes to wellness. So before I hop in with that, water is also very important. You know me, I like to encourage you to drink water. That way our body isn't too acidic and we can flush out toxins toxins so thank you for joining me drink your water let's take a drink real quick and let me share with you my thoughts on posture and my approach and see if and as i looked i'm like ooh, i've got my belly hanging out so i always have to hold in the belly so when it comes to wellness it's very important mind body and spirit so before I talk about the importance of posture, I would also like to encourage you to think about where your posture is on thinking, just even your thoughts, because your thoughts can weigh you down and can literally put weight on our body. So as we think happy thoughts and cleansing thoughts throughout our day, I would also like to encourage, inspire, and motivate you to think about your posture. So, first and foremost, when it comes to our posture, what we really want to think about is everything in line, which also brings us to thoughts. Are our thoughts in line with healthy wellness? Or are we having healthy thoughts? So, I would like to incorporate healthy thoughts and being aligned within our body. So, I'm going to turn to the side and show you my lazy posture. My lazy posture is this. There's lazy posture. I have a tendency on standing on one foot. So here's lazy posture. My shoulders are down. My stomach's not pulled in. But I'm going to go one step further and show you my broken posture. Because when I'm feeling broken because of what's happening in here or in here, that's because if I have a broken heart, if something in my life, if there's trauma or drama going on, let me show you. So here's, here's relaxed. This is how I would be standing, talking to someone, not thinking about it. You know, look, look, there's, so here's, here's not relaxed. There's a better posture. But when I'm broken, I literally am like this. I hold my belly because it's usually got butterflies in it and I am hunched over trying to protect my heart, trying to protect my stomach from hurting. And so here is my broken posture and I'll come a little closer and I'll show you even the look on my face when I'm hurting. I'll even be like, you know, I don't even have that smile and smiles can bring us joy and healing. So let's get out of broken posture. Let's get out of lazy posture and let's learn and encourage each other to have a healthy, strong posture. So the first thing that I'd like to encourage you to do is take a look at your feet. How are your feet when you stand? Thank you. How are your feet when you stand or when you sit? Some people, I don't know if you can see me. Let me swish away. Hello, Karen. Welcome. Let me swish away the comments so you can see. Some people stand like this. And if you'll look and see what that is doing to my hips, it's putting some severe pressure on my hips. So if you're standing like this, you're putting ankle, knee, hip, and then where it just follows up into a bad misalignment. So we always want to look down at our toes and see if they're pointing forward. 
There's also people that stand like this normally. You know, some people walk like this. I'm a little bit pigeon-toed. This is what they call pigeon-toed. And so for the last four years, I have really been trying to focus on keeping my feet straight. This is when I stand and when I sit. So the first thing you wanna do is put your feet just about hip distance, like wherever your legs come out from your hip, that's kind of where you want them to land. You don't wanna necessarily be here right now, and you don't wanna be right here, because then it might be putting too much pressure on your inner thighs or your knees. So just a nice, healthy feet pointing forward. Then what I'd like you to do is imagine that you have a string on the top of your head like a puppet, and pretend as if you're pulling up that string, pull your rib cage up out of your stomach, you know, make them separate. We've got rib cage, stomach, hips. Make it separate. And so here's what I want you to see. You know, here I'm like this. Now I'm gonna pull my string. Okay, and when I pull my string, I don't want my chest to be out like this and my butt to be like this. I'm gonna hold my arms up so you can see. This is where we wanna be. So if you're here, when you pull up that string, now you've pulled up the string, your neck is nice and tall out of your shoulders. Now, tuck your butt just a little bit. Just sweep it forward. And now, sometimes when you do that, your chest might po point out. And that's, that doesn't look normal, right? Doesn't look healthy, because now I'm pushing things out. So now what I want you to try to do, and even if you're sitting, sit up straight, because some of you might be sitting, you know, might not be standing, but if I encourage you to stand if you can. Pull up that string, pull in the glutes, and now blow some air out. I'm gonna come closer so you can see this. Okay, so I'm not out here. I got my butt tucked, and now watch. So when I blow that air out, I have just engaged my upper rib cage. And that alone is exercise. By just standing here in proper alignment, neck is up, bum is tucked, and glutes are in. And so I'm not hunching. See, I'm just, I let this part right here take effect, okay? So think about your shoulders. Where are they at? If you have to, some of us, this is why I'm teaching this. Here's the key to, what am I, I'm five minutes into this and I get to tell you, how many of you have the app on your phone that tells you how many hours a day you're spending on your device? And when we're on our device, where are we usually? We're usually right here, right? And sometimes I'll even go as far as this and my husband has started encouraging me, Sherry, look up, Sherry, look up. Because when we're doing this, our chest usually goes forward, our head is forward, and now we've got all this unnecessary pressure on this area. So if we can bring it up, bring your shoulders back, and keep your body in alignment, we're going to be more healthy. And let me tell you why. If we're doing this all day long, what's happening? We're not getting flow in our abdomen, in our intestines, and therefore we're likely not getting good digestion within our intestines. And then if we hunch over, now we're gonna have breathing problems possibly. Some, some of us experience shallow breath a lot. Well, if we open up the chest and put our shoulders back and down, now our lungs have an area to fill up with air, right? So I can't encourage y'all enough to join me this week in taking note and thinking about your posture. So even when you're walking, what I want you to think about is tucking your bum while you walk. You know, you don't wanna be out here. We wanna try and be here, looking forward. Try not to look down. I try to glance down to see where I'm going so I don't trip, and then I look back up. And I, I have not mastered stairs yet. I still will look down at stairs because I don't want to trip and fall. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so when we're sitting, I wanted to show you this. Drives my husband nuts, but I'll show you how I sit. This is, this is if I sit at the table in this chair, I'm gonna sit back and let my belly hang. 
Let's just, and then look where my shoulders are. I'm not even trying. There's my shoulders. That is not healthy. That is where we really should be. And But because I've got this, I always fall into old habits, right? So I'd like to encourage you all to drive your men nuts too, or the people that walk behind you at the restaurant. Here's how I sit. I sit at the edge of my seat because, let me put this down. You can see when I sit at the edge of my seat, I literally make sure my toes are pointing forward. Because if I'm pointing in, what just happened? I felt pinches right here in my hips. So when you're sitting, look at that nice alignment that's happening. But if I go like this, now what? I'm pinching here, I'm giving my knees some unnecessary pressure, and I'm even getting pressure in my ankles because they're not straight. So think about this when we sit like this. What are we doing? This is my comfortable spot. I will agree and admit that this is where I sit. This is just my natural go-to. But what happens? Right back here on the knee, some of you might have varicose veins or maybe a dent because we sit this way too long because the skin, the fascia, the tissue will dent over time. I actually have a friend, this is a, a little tip, something to think about also as posture when we're putting on makeup in the morning or washing our face or brushing our teeth at the vanity mirror. <clears throat> it's really, really beneficial if you have a mirror that is straight on eye level. Because how many of us have a mirror that's over there? Here's the sink. There's a mirror there, but there's a mirror here. So what do a lot of us do? Here's what some of us will do. We'll stand up against the counter, lean up against the counter, and so here we are. Here's the counter, lean, and now I'm putting on my makeup or washing my face. How many of you do that? If any of you lean on the counter, cough, and how, how much time are you spending like this a day and add it up every week? So I'm putting, look at from the back. So I'm here, here. So look at that. That's putting an S in our spine that we don't need. So talking about denting, I have a friend, she had a dent right here on her hip and she couldn't figure out where that dent was coming from until she got in a group where we were all talking about fascia and how it will indent, you know, bra straps and whatnot. She realized, oh my goodness, I have been leaning up against my vanity for so many years, she had this indent. And so she actually used um, suction cups, those cups, you know, where they <laughs> They kind of pull the stuff out and she did see um, some relief in that and she quit leaning on her counter. So I encourage you to think about getting wherever you put your makeup on and spend the time. Get a mirror where you can actually stand in proper posture. And as we go forward, and if any of you that have followed me for any amount of time and seen my exercises and heard me talk about how I exercise, when I'm washing my hair in the shower, I bend my knees, tuck my glutes, hold in my abs, I'm s s nice and straight backed, and I wash my hair, and I rinse my hair, and I wash my face. So here I am, working on my posture, working on keeping my feet straight, actually toning my glutes, because what? I'm holding my weight, right? And strengthening my core. So, that's what I do in the shower, but I'll tell you what, sitting there, working social media, driving in the car. That's another one that I will be sharing this week because it's one of my favorites. How many, how many hours do we spend in the car? Some of us spend a lot of hours in the car. So I'm going to share with you my approach to how I drive, sitting up, using these, these techniques to, to hold in my core while I drive. So, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Oh, I better get back my messages in case I see Debbie Wheeler also. Ah, oh, my bestest friend from England. Actually, not my friend from England, my friend from school, but she's in England. That's amazing, I love it. Hi, Cheryl, how are you? Thank you for the beautiful, beautiful compliment that you gave me the other day. See, again, I'm wearing some jewel tones. I love jewel tones. 
And that's something to think about too, ladies. We want to be happy and we want to feel good because if we don't feel good, we're just going to be, you know, down here in the glums and the doom. But if we feel good, if we feel vibrant, people are going to be attracted to that and they're going to want to know what's her secret? What makes her so happy? Well, you know, if things can flow in and out, let go of old issues, things that are making us tense and put a smile on our face and stand up tall like we're ready to take on the world, we will be ready to take on the world. So that is what I wanted to encourage you with today. Um, so posture sitting, posture standing, and posture laying. How many of you think about how you sleep and how it might affect your health and your posture and even our wrinkles. I'm trying really hard to be a back sleeper because think about it. I, I watch women's skin and how it responds to different things and I am a side sleeper most of the time by comfort and I started getting wrinkles on my chest. And one woman once told me, she goes, you know, you can't get a wrinkle lift. You know, I mean, a chest lift. They'll do plastic surgery here and here, but they don't really have anything for your chest yet. So I try and put sunscreen on my chest and I try not to sleep like this because when I sleep, my natural go-to is the fetal position on my side. I literally, and it hurts just even to do this, it hurts my wrists. But think about how many hours you sleep I sleep at least six hours. I try to shoot for seven or eight. So think about six hours being in this position. So now what I do when I sleep, I put my head on my pillow and I literally will lift my head and my neck and try and straighten it. And when I do, I get little cracks in my neck. It'll go because I'm actually putting it into the right place. So with that, I would like to encourage any of you right now to kind of do a, a test, a self-test. And so I'm going to do it with you and I want to encourage you to stop at any pain because there are some women that might have um, vertebrae fused, you might have vertebrae that are grinding on each other because of uh, uh, injury or just over the years of misuse. So if you experience any pain, I want you to stop there. Do not continue on. But what I'd like you to do is either sit up straight or stand up, whatever you're doing, and think about this is where you want your chin to be, kind of horizontal level with the floor. But what I'd like you to do is inhale and slowly with me, look up and see how far you can get without pain. So think about it, inhale, and now just slowly look up and see how far you can go. And just enjoy that stretch for a moment. Enjoy the stretch that you're getting up the front of your neck because how often do we stretch the front of our neck? We're usually in the opposite position. We're usually down here. So what's happening is these neck muscles are shortening and these are lengthening and so you don't have equal balance. So a few times a day, if you look up and even lift up your neck a little bit more and just hold that and breathe through it. How many of us have a hard time doing this? Because what we're having to do is slow down. We're having to put our thoughts in our own mind, in our own body. We're not thinking about somebody else, somebody else's problems, somebody else's lunch, somebody else's appointments. Let's just think about us for a minute, okay? So that's what I'd like to leave you with today is thinking about you and your health and your posture and remember, Pull that little string up. Pull that neck up out of your shoulders. Pull your shoulders down. Put a smile on your face. 
hold your abdominals in and see if that makes a difference in your day and how you feel. And at the end of the week, next Tuesday, I'll come in and I'm going to see if anybody has joined me in this week challenge. The prize is a healthier, more beautiful you because when we stand up, we look confident and we feel confident. So that's what I'd like to leave you with today. And just real quick, I'm going to grab, I, I would like to leave you with a positive message because the world is full of negativity and I like to put a little bit of positivity in the world and I have been taking a coaching course that I've been working on for a few weeks and it's all about sharing your story, sharing your energy, showing up where you are and trying to be the best you that you can be. So today's message for us is this. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on, I will manifest. So if we can focus on our posture, if we can focus on our posture and having a clear pathway for all of the toxins and all of the minerals to do their thing, toxins leave, minerals in, and do your work. That's what I'd like to leave you with today. Your energy creates your reality. And the more that you focus on good posture and happy thoughts, the happier and the healthier that you will be. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that I've inspired you to work on your posture. I will be sharing more throughout the week. So from here to next Tuesday, that's my goal. My goal is focusing on posture. So hopefully next week I'm going to come to you and naturally stand here like this instead of having to correct myself. So remember, just standing and holding in your ab abdominals, that's ab work. You don't have to do sit-ups to do ab work. Thank you, Jen. I love you. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. And hopefully you too are working on your posture. And we will rise to amazing things in life. So, all right, ladies, I love you. Stand up straight, sit up straight, lay straight. <laughs> Can you sleep on your back? Let me know how you go. Yes, yes you are. Very good. So remember, think about what, how you sleep because you might spend quite a few hours there a day. And remember, where is your, where is your smart device? Where's your tablet? Are we here or are we here? If we actually are doing things like this, we can actually be toning our arms at the same time. I'm all about multitasking. So I try and look up and do my texts and strengthen my arms so you have scoliosis yes always practicing yes and I was I was telling the women before you jumped in Jen is that some women stand in the bathroom and lean over to the mirror think about what that's doing to our spine so where do you sit and put your makeup on are you sitting straight are your shoulders back and do you have a smile on your face yes 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 so I love you all and I will be seeing you and been posting all kinds of things about good posture the benefits of it and tips on how to get a better posture could be Bob and Brad physical therapists it could be who knows who it will be but I'll be sharing other people's information Sherry D shares have a great day Bye.